so dear viewers uh after completing analysis now we'll go for some important take of our structure that our structure is okay or not okay so when this is okay now i'll go for our next step first of all we'll go for our here p delta check of a building okay so i'm opening that excel and here our uh, excel to design for i mean to check for p delta analysis now uh, maybe you all know about p delta analysis what is p delta analysis and why we should do it already have discussed on it and now uh, here i'll go for our uh, next part first of all we need level so just remember we need a uh, level in descending way because here our uh, ground floor will be in top and our top floor will be in bottom in the direction and then height in inch or millimeter you can take any values if you consider inch then your value should be in keep and if you consider millimeter then your value should be in kilonewton that's it then also you need s3 first for only uh dead load and live load then s3 share for only uh, earthquake and wind load and diaphragm mass of center displacement that's it for earthquake and wind load so what you will select from for s2 d share you have to select the same value for center of mass so let's start and before starting if you need that excel sheet even if you need uh, all of our excel sheet or anything uh, we're using in this course or i uh, already have used just uh, go to our uh, website that link given in description and if you think that uh, you're not able to take that excel from website then join as a member in our channel and after joining just let me know i will provide you all of that data okay so and uh, take uh, try to take some uh, upper upper membership package okay so i'll just go for it now i'll go e -depths. and from here i'll go uh right click modify now one thing here uh this is our value actually okay <coughs> uh, already we have uh arranged that i'll close it now i'll go table then uh model definition okay so for first of all you'll see in this way actually many data have been changed i'm from previous software i mean they have arranged that from our previous analysis so um you may face some problem to find out some data if you're using the previous uh, version of software so i'm just not nothing to worry i'm just showing you so from here system data then uh, when everything is okay here our model from our model definition so sorry from here model will go for our project and from here our uh story layout like a structure layout will go for a stories and see here this our story data okay so this is okay also now uh, if we go here then model from model control data and table of total so here uh s3 definition if i just click here click and see here we are able to find out that data so from here i will uh, if i click here then from here i'll go for snd just see i will take that data from here control c okay uh, actually they have some issue the same issue just see here a story it's uh, a story roof i mean our roof story are coming under story one and ground floor it should be placed here so i'll close that i'll close that i'll unlock it i'll rearrange that i'll right click and i'll go for our show or modify then i'll go for modify and i'll change its, its name so I'll provide values 10 okay 
S310 dot rock maybe this time we'll be okay 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 then refresh and okay and go for run analysis okay so well everything is okay we'll go for our next process our next test step <coughs> done now i'll go here table then model definition okay then system data tower or here control data actually if you, you can go anywhere right click sorry not here um, Okay, okay, this is for grid and we have to go for our next model. I mean next step like load pattern, other definition, property definition. Actually, we need our S2D level. Maybe it's here, S3D definition. So here, now it's okay actually. So if I right click, then go for ascending. Uh, it's again it's showing problem so what i'll do actually i'll go for uh, our um, actually it's just not okay now again i'll go back i will go for unlock right click from here modify here and i'll just give it t r or t dot rows maybe this time will, will be okay t dot r so i hope this time will be okay or if i use a, a data like before r tr that means pq dot r proof maybe this time we will okay then refresh okay refresh okay now go for analysis okay so table model here control data and from s2 definition show table and uh, right click ascending just see now it's okay now i'll take that value copy go to excel and paste it here done now i need to paste that value here s3 height so for s3 height I need to close down that I need to change my unit for s3 height it's giving me value uh, if I just go here in feet so if I click here and consistent unit length height in LP okay just click show unit from from here absolute distance I will consider that is for in inch and also um, structure area okay maybe this time will be okay then okay now go for a straight definition right click show table now this is an inch right click ascending and select all of that data then copy and again go to excel and provide this distance just see now we'll take our s3 force for s3 force i'll close that uh, i'll minus it 
I'll go analysis result from analysis result a structure output from a structure output we'll go for other output and here is three force right click show table and here are all values so now what value we need actually uh, we need for s3 force dead load and live load we'll go here and from our load combo we'll see they have any combination like dead load and live load so they have no combination for dead load and live load i'll close that i'll go here define and we'll go for load combination and i'll create a new combo like dead load plus live load and from here i'll select all of our dead load and live load dead load then uh plot finish then partition all then live load floor then live load roof okay it's done then click okay click okay and again go here analysis result output others result and history force right click show table and go here for our uh, for combination and here for all dead load and live load here you see so it's done for all dead load and live load okay now for which point we'll consider that value consider that value for top and here we'll right click and ascend let's see it's done now we'll consider or that value copy right click okay after selecting control c that means copy and here just paste it here sorry uh i'll go apps okay so again select that and control c and on excel right click and paste done now i'll go for a study share this is also available here actually i will show you only for uh right click then only for earthquake x uh, sorry paste type here <laughs> linear statistic actually it has I uh, have updated their values more than previous so here number of a step okay uh, here a step number one to three type of a step will consider or maximum or minimum or mode a step by a step and blank if we go for so we have to go for a step by step for a strip force and right click so here for uh x1 okay done now we'll go for not used and equal to one then apply filter filter equal to or one apply filter it's just many things they have changed actually so uh, they have three step actually so i will go for a step one and here all value are in top and i'll change that value i mean i'll go for ascend just see now from here we'll consider that value copy go here and paste it here just see now we'll go for diaphragm center of mass and displacement here actually um uh, certainly I, I i didn't practice before in that software that's why i'm facing some problem to find out that data actually so i have to go for uh diaphragm center of mass frame output 
then maybe area output or maybe for joint also output yes displacement just see that is main thing actually diaphragm center of mass displacement right click show table and from here you need the value of ex or ei so as uh, from here same way same you have to do it for output ex and done then for uh, a step right click then equal to one apply filter We're done and from here click for short ascending that's it and from here uh, we'll consider that value or we'll take that value copy right click sorry uh just click here and copy that value press upon and go here and paste it here so just see uh there's some issue like uh i'll go here so till which story it's giving it's not giving us value for our bottom story okay so because they have no diaphragm on that situation on that place so i'll copy again we'll go here and from history one i'll place that data done and uh this is if we provide zero it's also okay or it's okay actually so if we provide zero you get to redesign it okay so i'll not provide data head zero so it's okay with 0 0.09 no just see they have no p delta requirement so if you need p delta then what we'll do actually close then click here and you have to go define p delta option and from p delta option you have to select non irritative base on mass or irritative base on load so i'll select non irritative base on mars this is easy to do so close and that was the way to check our p delta model in that i mean in our new version of edaps so i hope that was helpful for you and uh, if you think that that was helpful for you please subscribe to our channel also uh, like our video and uh also you can give us super like or super thanks or you can join as a member and if you join as a member you will get all of that excel file for free and all of our resources for free and also you will get uh, all support from us so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next lecture